It looks like it didn't work for you though. Why? It worked for Tony, but it didn't work for you. Well, speaking of, you want to reintroduce them real quick? I mean, I don't need to reintroduce them. Everybody always asks, where's Tony? Where's Tony? We threw him in the trash can, but then he reappeared. <laughs> 70 pounds lighter. You can't get rid of me. I'm not, I'm not that easy to get rid of. Everybody was asking. Hello, everybody. I'm still alive. We're going to fix Alex's diet and we're going to get him ripped. Trainer, yeah, <laughs> and Tony's back to be my trainer, so I could I could live longer because I'm fat as hell. Yeah, everybody's been asking where Tony's been. Uh, Tony's been working on opening his own shop, so you guys go give him a follow. Thank Atlas you. Atlas Motorsports. We'll put his little contact stuff over there. He's a big uh, appreciate you. He's a big Mustang boy, so he wants to play with Mustang boys. So if there's any Mustang boys watching this, go get played with with Tony. Uh, <laughs> but no, we're serious. We're not <laughs> joking. We're gonna try to unlock some Mustang ECUs actually, so this guy could start putting some blowers on there and turbos on there, and I could hopefully tune them for him. So, if you guys need any work, any maintenance, anything like that, you guys know where to go and hit him up. We'll put his link over here, and you guys could say hi to him. Thank okay? you. Alex. So there's well, yeah. your there's your answer. We're talking about our my diet right now and my lifestyle, which is very bad. So we're gonna continue this conversation, and we'll be back with you guys shortly. Oh shit. There's no gas. Little gas. No gas. It's blinking. You see? Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. It's nice gas. Oh, <laughs> mucho gas? No, man. It's little gas. Okay, hurry up, fool. I gotta check the computer. Oh, you can't see that side? Poquito mas this way. Back. Pendejo. This way, Leva. Yeah. Go. Okay. Open the hood, please. Casa, senorita. Okay, it's ready. Nice color. You like this color? Yes. What's the name? In Espanol, Militar. Militar? You basically tell me it's military green? <laughs> same, little same. Militar? Militar. So green is militar? Verde. In Spanish? It's verde, pendejo, not militar. No, verde. No, because this is. Oh, this, this is. Mate. Mili mate. Militar, militar verde. Okay, mm -hmm. see, sí, okay. <laughs> yes, yes. A militar. This here is his M4 development stuff that I'm working on. Trying to figure out some stuff with the ECU. And it's uh, in for our stage two package. So the guys are gonna go ahead and do that until, and while I sit here and try to play with the stuff I'm trying to play with, figure out some s secret stuff that I'm working on. She is on her way. Look how sexy she is. Yeah, we're talking about a car here. Nah. Don't show them my no, car. I'm blurry, I'm blurry. What do you think? Look at, look at the size of those wheels. Look at the size of them wheels, boy. Uh, who can guess what kind of car this is by the sound? Ready? Heaven. Can't wait till this thing gets here. What, next week? It's supposed to be getting here on the 4th. So, let's see what happens, man. Do you bring it to Cars and Coffee or See the what happens, man. Toys for Tots? Yeah, we're gonna bring it to... Oh, it's coming on the 4th? Tots for Toys. Tots for Toys. We should do those two. <coughs> we should do the Toys for Tots one and, and the, the Porsche. Porsche. Mm -hmm. Porsche Thousand Oaks one. Yeah, I know. Your boy Sahid keeps mm -hmm. inviting us. Right, so what are we doing right now, Cheyenne? We're gonna film... Uh, I know you guys see our, our Instagram reels a lot. We make a lot of funny videos and we're about to get a good one. And uh, where'd it go? We're using baby powder, which I noticed now, if you look at it at a certain angle, Someone for sure jacked half the bottle at Target and then put it back on the shelf. What? Yeah, you can see it. You joke. I'm like, why is it open? It's usually sealed, and then I notice half of it's gone. And someone probably opened it. Did you it. open it? I didn't open it. Someone probably opened it, dumped it in. But something. did you open it? No. I mean, it's already open. It's leaking. Bro, somebody did jack it. It's empty. Uh, it's got enough for what we need. Go to www.gintani.com for 25% off merch and 10% off tunes. Get our Black Friday sale now. <laughs> Did it work out? Is good? Yeah. Look at his ear! Look at his ear! Look at his ear! You got me yeah, cake in the ear. I said it to you. <laughs> Let me do it right now. <laughs> Bro, that 
exploded, bro. Oh my god, that's too funny, bro. Way too much. <laughs> Wait, can you read this? What is this? <laughs> Give me one week and I'll work for free. Guarantee I'll outwork Shakes spell my name wrong. Any day of the year, pisses me off, doesn't appreciate the position he has, is half lazy, useless Indian person. I'm Bengali, bro, get it right. <laughs> Give me one week for free and I'll guarantee I'll replace that lazy Indian. You deserve proper work that shows up on time and gets everything done. Earns his keep and money, no lazy, useless Indian that <laughs> takes them. <laughs> there's a second one? Uh, there's another there's a one. second one? Where's the other one? <laughs> really? <laughs> Look at the email header. Replace lazy Indian Cheyenne, I'll work for me for free. <laughs> you can work for me for free. I need an assistant. <coughs> yeah, so whoever those two emails came from, you guys could be Cheyenne's assistant. And that's not gonna be nice after calling him a lazy Indian. Now you I get just, your own assistant. As you can see, I do a lot for Alex. <laughs> All right, we just got this uh, new GTX Pro to uh, do uh, our own uh, merch. So Alex can start uh, making his own stuff and wear it in advance. So to start the process, we're gonna shake up the white ink. You gotta massage it and you gotta do it for a cool minute, man. Eventually. All right, now we're back. Uh, got to shake the white ink. Now we're going to perform the color and white test prints. See, this is what Alex and the team does for you guys. They invest. Yeah. Because this thing was not cheap. No more money. Now we're going to test our CMYK. Do you know what that means now? Or did you know what it means? It's before? the colors. It's specifically for printing. Yeah. And RGB is for digital. This one is magenta. <laughs> yeah, go, go over. <laughs> so let's see. Crip. <laughs> Cyan. <laughs> so what are we doing here, Danny? Right now we're just uh, getting the shirt to be as flat as possible, but at the same time, even if the shirt feels dry, there could still be moisture in it. So this is like super scientific. Yeah, right? it gets to that point, and the more care you put in, the nicer the product will be. So right now we're just pressing it, making mm -hmm. sure we remove some moisture, making sure that the surface area is flat to print on. And then what is this machine? This machine is the pre-treat machine. Um, this is where we're gonna apply a few layers of the pre-treat to make the ink will stick better. So we can do t-shirts, hoodies, tote bags, what Pretty else can much, we do? Pretty uh, much anything that you can fit in this, uh, this height adjustment that you got. Yeah, you can do uh, hoodies, jackets, everything is all in the setup, but I'm no expat. This is why we we're testing this out, so when we actually do the merch for you guys, all the new merch, we can print samples, make sure it's perfect every single time. Yep. Now we need to dry her up. The key is always to have as dry as possible. Any uh, trapped moisture in there, especially if you're printing white, you'll start seeing uh, little blemishes. This is very labor intensive, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but if you guys do need shirts, now you can contact us for custom stuff. We don't want to do too big of orders, right? Yeah. Just small, like maybe under 50 or 100, and we got you guys. So now, so now pre-treatment is done, right? Pre-treat's ready. You get to put it on your scale. Try it out, right? Yeah, this is our first test. It's a nice shirt, too. It's a $20 shirt. Yeah. Is it? It's oh, yeah. That's a car hard shirt. Yeah. Man, who's going to win today? <laughs> Someone's going to get this today. Last step is we got it out of the printer. And then ink is wet, so got it on the heat press. Ooh, look at that. There we go. Look at that. That looks nice. We just printed this on our new DQ machine. Oh, beautiful, dude. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Just printed it upstairs. That's sick. You got the Alaska right <laughs> time, too. That's pretty sick. Oh, thank you. It's a, a Carhartt t shirt, too. It's a Carhartt t shirt, but. I can have the car. You can have, you can have, you can have the car. Yeah, bro. That's sick, dude. How, what's the right way to, to pronounce your dad's company? I don't know. What's the company's name? Get Daddy. There you go. There you go. There yeah. you go. <laughs> what do you tell your friends? It's, it's Ben Tony. It's Ben Tony? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Keep turning it. Go, 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 go. Go to work with dad day. Doesn't mean you come here and just mess around and ask people for stuff. You gotta get to work, buddy. If it would be easier, maybe try the other stuff. Go in there. 
All right, so Alex, what are we calculating right now? There's a carbon exposed Centenario that's for sale, which I would love to buy in Twin Turbo because I just, I'm an idiot. But we just did the lease calculator on Amazon leasing. Even though the car is not correct, I'm going off of other stuff. So the money factor and stuff might be messed up, but we just did it with $933,000, almost $934,000 down. And that's for 60 months, the term, and it would be 24,721 a month. So, so a whole Corolla every month, basically. Yeah, so we're, we're not buying that. <laughs> <laughs> we're not there yet. I would, <laughs> I would die to buy this thing and turbo this thing. Seriously, can you imagine? Look at this thing. Damn. Look at that thing. Imagine that thing with it's a built the, motor, twin turbo. With the red accents, the Alex Quintani oh spec. Oh my God, look at that, man. I need one of these coins to hit that I bought, which are like the worst coins in the world. But maybe hey, you never know. Tonight when I go to sleep and then in the morning you wake up, she was at like four dollars and I'm a multi-billionaire. You got this, Vinny. You just gotta tighten it, buddy. He's he's working. He's on a hard job right now. You missed it. He's like, does my dad even do this? We're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Vinny, ask your dad. See if he's done this before. I did that for years, Vinny. Now I get to have other people do it. Oh, you mean tell them what to do. Yeah, <laughs> now I get to tell other people what to do, yes. But I don't do that for free, they get paid. That's why they work here. But he also used to do So who do they pay? Huh? So who do they pay? They, do your they dad pay? pays them. They don't pay anybody, I pay them, bro. Oh, I thought they pay you. Yeah, right, come <laughs> on, work here? I wish, that would've been great. Yeah, there's like 20 people here. There's 20 people here, yeah. There's a lot of people here. And there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot more once we expand, hopefully soon. And like a million people will come here. Maybe. To have a party and if we had a million people working for us, Vinny, that would mean that we're doing very, very well in business. And that would mean that one day when I'm gone, and then we're you, gonna you would be you would be you would be set. A thousand twenty-five dollars. <laughs> oh man, we bought another car last night. <laughs> how, many, how many cars is that this year? Four. Give us a rough number, because I lost track. I don't know. We bought. Well, we told everybody we have a car coming, right? It's still, that's coming next that, week. That's right? coming next week. Last night, um, just randomly, me and my dad decided to buy another car, and we're at Thanksgiving dinner, and I called. My buddy whose car he used to be, and I'm like, you know what, bro? Where are you? And he's like, oh, I'm at, you know, my family's house in North Sonoma. Where's the car? He goes, it's at my sister's house. I'm like, cool. He goes, why? Do you want it? I said, if you could get it here by eight o'clock, I'll cut you a check. So <laughs> he showed up at eight o'clock when we're at Thanksgiving. We're at my aunt's house for Thanksgiving, and then he rolled up with the car, so we ended up buying another car. Well, so this car is very familiar, right? Why did you buy this car? I had one just like it very recently that I had bought and uh, I ended up selling it to, I call him like my nephew, Misag, who works for us, one of the minions, I sold it to him and then after I sold it to him, I bought a the coupe which I originally wanted, I missed the four door so I was like damn I need a four door and then my buddy Holo, which I bought a Z30 M3, the red one, had a beautiful four door. The car yellow E36 M3, and I've had this thing for yellow cars for some reason now. I want to have like a couple yellow cars, I just think they're cool. And it's got a S54 swap, six speed, BBS LMs, Brembos, it's got everything. It's like the perfect car. It's cool because I can throw the kids in there, and we have a little toy with the, with the two door. I can't do it because it's got a cage in it and stuff. Plus, the two door, I'm keeping it so I give it to my nephew when he gets his uh, license. And I thought if I bought this, I'd drive it daily for now. It's pretty cool, man. It's got a CSL airbox. It's got all this cool. It looks, it looks really cool. It's got tints on it right now. I'm not too big of a fan of tints on these cars, so um, we'll be taking the tints off next week. So I like the fishbowl effect. I'm gonna get the seats redone. The leather's pretty clean. It's just I'm really you know picky, so I want to get the seats all redone. So I'm gonna redo the stereo system inside. Just something that I could drive to work and back every day. And plus, this will be a car that. I'll have Nico drive for a little bit so he could get used to it before he drives the white car. I don't know, man. I'm just on this like crazy E46 uh, craze and uh, E46, E36 craze and this car is sweet. So just had to have it. Now I'm looking at another yellow car that I want to buy. Well, tell them where we're going in a month. Oh, in a month? 
See, the only reason I've stopped buying some cars and I want to chill out is because we're going to Japan. So we're going to Tokyo Auto Salon. We're going to go hang out there. We're going to go to RWB, go see Nikai Sun, and we're going to go to Liberty Walk and go see all those guys there. We're going to go check out a bunch of cool cars, hopefully find some rare cars, some old Ferraris, some old Lambos, maybe some old Benzes. No, Obviously. No, no. What happened? They have old cars there? In Japan? Yeah, a lot of cool ones. So we're going to go to Japan, for sure going to go find some RWBs, so... I need to go to Japan. You need to go to Japan? Yeah, I want to Okay, you're gonna come to, <laughs> you can come to Japan next year with me. So we're gonna do a whole content series. Yeah, we're gonna crazy. do a whole content series when we go out to Japan. We have a lot of stuff uh, planned. Our customer and good friend John's here actually. You guys saw him in the video. He's going to, and there's gonna be a lot of people out there. So we'll meet up with a bunch of people and go do some, you know, street driving and find some cool cars and maybe buy a couple things and bring them back. Go eat a bunch of sushi, that's for sure. Yeah, it's like your favorite stuff, like sushi, yeah, and it's like cars, it's, yeah. Asian people. Yeah, it's the best thing in the world. Japan food is very good. What happened? I know Japan's Pokemon cards are the best. Japanese Pokemon cards are the best? There are Japanese Pokemon cards? Yeah. Also, watches there are really cheap. Yeah, I know. So, the funny thing is I was telling a couple of my buddies yesterday, and I also told my dad, I'm like, all you guys better have your phones tapped, getting ready for phone calls, so if I need you guys to send some wires, <laughs> get ready to send wires, dude, because... Because the yen is buy, cheap. Yeah, the yen is cheap. And no taxes. Yeah, we got we to gotta go out there and buy some stuff and capitalize and come back. But again, we got, we'll show you guys some clips of the new car. It's, it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited. These cars make me happy, you know? There's the rambles and stuff are all cool, but the old cars are cool. Um, John, you want to introduce yourself to our, here, John, to our, YouTube, to our YouTube cast? This is our good friend and customer, John. John, what's, what's, your, what's your Instagram handle? Pikachu Picar. Pikachu Picar. John's got a lot of cool cars. Um, for RWB bros. Yes, and he's had <laughs> a Ventador that's been tuned with by me and has had my stuff for what? Five cool. years now? Four, four or five years. 12,000 12, miles. Five years, 12,000 miles. He's been beating the living crap out of that car. We made an E85 file for him for that car, and now he races all these other Aventadors. I don't, don't want to post videos of the cat get destroyed. Videos of me smoking the SVJ. <laughs> <laughs> and John just built a really, really, really cool Supra, right? Cool Supra and uh, the Revolto, which yeah. is getting and, uh, and he's some here, uh, really sauce cool. here. He's some sauce on the Revolto. He's got another car coming hopefully we'll do some stuff with that but the Supra is pretty cool I love the Supra thank you thank you you want to tell us what you did to the Supra Supra uh, Vera Supreme uh, wide body kit uh, it runs uh, it's a 3.4 stroker it uh, has a G45 1500 uh, Garrett turbo v-mount you know because I have the, the, the vented hoods it uh, even has AC uh, sequential shifter HGT uh, it's doing uh, 1,200 uh, wheel horsepower and about 42 pounds of boost. That's a cool car. Yeah. Good. Well, we're gonna go to Japan and buy some more cars. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll all be together out there. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna hang on to the Wang Gang. Yeah. We're gonna go see one loop. Yeah. We're gonna go. We're gonna go watch some races. You're gonna take me to that that highway area. Right? That's right. That Koku PA. Yeah. We're gonna go visit uh, our homies at Liberty Walk and our, our buddy the Kai San. At yeah, RWB headquarters. So you never know, we might come back with a couple more cars. I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> I know you will. I've, I've been here like for a few hours and here I bought two cars. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you guys on the episode. We guys will see John again in uh, Japan and it's going to be pretty cool. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be hella fun. We're definitely going to do videos in Japan. Yeah, we're definitely going to do We are, we are for sure. Next year we'll take you with us. You might be about four inches taller. <laughs> <laughs> so tell everybody. This is the McLaren. This is my dad's one that just came. This is my favorite. Yeah, oh, it's a Porsche. Why, why is this one your favorite? Because it was very old. <laughs> you like older cars? Oh, yeah. Did I show them the Porsche? Yeah, do you like this Porsche? Yeah, but, yeah. You know, you know what kind of Porsche this is? Carrera GT. That's your dad's other new car, right? Yeah. You know what this is? Mercedes? Yeah, it's a Mercedes, AMG. It's a special one, it's got a black series. Yeah. So it's like a race car. It says Gun Tony on the back. It does. <laughs> Why are there trucks here? <laughs> Vinny, what do you want your first car to be? 
Bugatti. <laughs> How much money do you think uh, your first car should cost? One Bugatti? One million and twenty-five dollars. <laughs> I'm not, I'm just, you know, chilling out with my dad. And you can see up, that's my dad's office. You like the yellow car more than the Lambo? Yeah, because the yellow's more old. Because the yellow's more old. Okay, that's cool. What other car you like that's in here? The ones that are broken like that. The one that's broken? That's not broken, actually. The one that's apart? Yeah, because they look cool. That's what, that's the ones that I showed them. Oh, you showed them those? Yeah. Why, because they're apart? Yeah, and they look pretty cool. What kind of car is this one? This one right here. This? A Mercedes. Oh, it's a Mercedes, okay. What's your favorite car in the world? Pagani, Porsche, huh? Pagani and Porsche. Pagani and a Porsche? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. And a GTR. A GTR? You like GTRs? What are you going to do today, Vinny? You're going to change the plate frame. You're in the Castro one? Put this Gintani one. You got to take these screws out. You see it? It's, it's, a, it's, it's called a Phillips head because it's a little cross. You stick it in the hole and you start turning it. Turn it left. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. So left is that way. There you go. Mindy's doing his first mod. The first one? Yeah. First one ever. Alright, look, it's out. Yeah. Alright. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming for a daddy daycare day. Vinny, tell them. Like, comment, subscribe. Go. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good day, guys. See you on the next one. You're not going to say anything? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>they're supposed to give me one of those too and they never did it's a key cover look what is it it's it's a obnoxiously big key cover how it's horrible from, is that key cover from Lamborghini. can you imagine if i go out to dinner i have to put this in my pocket oh my god they will like die laughing who's gonna die laughing the people Everybody. who see it? yeah because it looks funny right of course one of the dumbest car keys one of the dumbest car keys yeah jesus Vinny.